Hi everybody. Good afternoon. It's a nice cold day here where we are. And God has been speaking to me on a chapter. I'm not even kidding. Probably three or four times I've turned to the same scripture that God has been speaking to me through. And it's been on Samuel and it's been on a couple other things. I mean, not Samuel, I'm sorry, Samson. I've been in Judges for a whole week or more that literally the Holy Spirit's been speaking through. But this chapter, chapter 18, is actually on the Danites and how they took on Micah's idolatry. Before I start, I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to go before me and speak through me. And I'm going to um, just give the word. Uh, it's been confirmed. Miss Miranda Nelson actually spoke on something very similar. I mean, it was about how Rachel took the idolatry from her father's house. And I was like, okay, God, you're confirming it. It was the word last night, actually. And God always will confirm his word, um, which is helpful because sometimes you don't want to just put things out there. You want to know that it's really what he's wanting to touch on. And um, and eventually, the st stronger he um, teaches me and molds me and guides me, the more I'll be able to really know, okay, this is what you're speaking on. Because sometimes I, you know, I want to make sure, you know, so anyways, I'm going to pray. Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for everything you're doing. I thank you for all that you do. Holy Spirit, have your way and speak through me. We bind every hex, curse, witch, and warlock, and we plead the blood of Jesus over my family, over this word, and over all those who hear and who are connected. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So this is the um, chapter 18. It's, it basically is going off of, well, I'm just going to read it. Um, I'm going to read the parts that, you know, well, okay, I'm just going to start it off, okay? <clears throat> so chapter 18, verse 1. In those days there was no king in Israel, and Judges 18, verse 1. And in those days the tribe of Danites were seeking an inheritance for themselves, to dwell in for until that day, their inheritance among the tribes of Israel had not fallen to them. So the children of Dan sent five men of their family from their territory, men of valor from Zorah and Eshtael. Could you give me Instagram after your dinner? After dinner. Yes. Okay. To spy out the land and search it. And they said to them, go search the land. So they went to the mountains of Ephraim to the house of Micah and lodged there. And while they were at the house of Micah, they recognized the voice of the young Levite. And they turned aside and said to him, Who brought you here? What are you doing? And what do you have? And he said to them, Thus as Michael did for me, he has hired me and I have become his priest. And so they said to him, Please inquire of God that we may know whether the journey on which we go will pros be prosperous. So note that they are asking this priest, are we going on the right direction? Ask God. They're saying, can you ask God? And also, is the way we're going prosperous? And the priest said to him, go in peace. The presence of the Lord will be with you on your way. Okay. So these guys go. These guys are spies for the tribe of Danites. They're the men of valor. And they go <clears throat> and they, they ask, they ask. Micah, Micah's priest, is this the way we should go? Will it be prosperous? He says, God is with you. Your way will be prosperous. Now let's skip forward, okay? And so um, the, the men, the spies, go back and they say, so they say, arise to the people of Dan. Arise, let us go up against them, for we have seen the land, and indeed it is very good. Would you do nothing? Do not hesitate to go and enter to possess the land. And when you go, you will come to a secure people in a large land, for God has given it into your hands, a place where there is no lack of anything that is on the earth. And the 600 men of family of the Danites went from there, from Zorah to Eshtael, armed with weapons of war. So, okay, this is the other thing that was highlighted. Not only... Were these people, okay, 
they had no inheritance. They asked of God Mommy. for inheritance. Yes, hold on, baby. They asked. Of, you can come in here. Come. Yes, I will. Come in here. They asked of God for an. Come sit over here with me. Okay. They asked of God for an inheritance, right? They asked of God for an inheritance. What is an inheritance? Inheritance is like, um, well, they were wanting land for their people. Because the tribe of Israel, the Danites, part of the tribe of Israel, hadn't received one. So they're wanting um, an inheritance. And so this is what's so crazy, right? So they find this land. It says it has no lack of anything in the world. That means it has everything there for them to be prosperous. Everything that they need. Which is amazing, right? Mm-hmm. But the, the thing is... Is that as you go on and read, as they take over, they go in and they take over. Now, this people, another thing that got highlighted is these people had no one to protect them. They said the Sidonians who were of the same land were um, actually far away. They wouldn't be able to protect the people there. These people had so much extra that the land was just like a, a land of milk and honey. It doesn't say that. But it basically says they had so much, there was no lack in anything. So, um, this is the sad part, okay? For one thing, God showed us that, yes, you can be secure where you are. You can be comfortable, but it can be dangerous if you don't have people around you to cover you, to protect you, to stand with you. If those of the enemy were coming against you, you might seem like you're secure. And you might be. You might have everything you need. But at the same point, you have to be covered and make sure that you're surrounded um, because that is also a way of being a target. Yeah, you might seem like everything's okay. There's no um, issues. But at the same point, be praying for covering. Be praying for those, uh, a hedge of protection. You know, because when we're out there and we have no coverage, who's our covering? God is our cover. God is our covering. And if we don't have him as our covering, as our hedge of protection, which is what they were speaking of yesterday. What an act of protection. A hedge of protection to protect us. If we don't have him as a hedge of protection, um, the enemy can easily target us. Okay, so that's one thing that God was showing me. The other thing is um, that, that as you go down and you continue reading, they go in to take da- the, the land and they find Micah. Micah's home and his priest and they asked the priest hey you want to come with us or are you going to stay here with one man and the priest is excited yeah I'll be with you but the priest does something he takes all of these idols out of Micah's home these carved images these molded images these different gods that Micah's worshiping and he takes them with him and and the people of the the Danites end up taking these idols with them um after they already sought God for for this land, after God gave them this new land, this inheritance um, into their hands, they go and start seeking these other gods. They actually take them and and start to to worship them as their own. So that's what God was showing me, like how when God is giving us so much Mommy. and He's about to bless us. Some of us are Hello. about to walk into a blessing. Some of us are about to walk into our promised land um and some of us might already be in it if you have idols that are not god if god is not your first get them out get rid of them how dare us pick up other idols um in a time in a time where god has literally put us in a place with no lack Okay, so that's all it was. If you continue reading, it's all chapter 18. I'm almost done. Shh, I'm almost done. Um, it's, it's, it's powerful what God has had did, but it's so sad how quickly they turn to these other idols. It's like what you were asking of God. You, you wanted to see if you would be able to take this land. You wanted to see if you were going to be... Please stop that when I'm reading, please. Okay. Um, you wanted to see if... If um, you were going to be able to to take over and prosper, and God said yes, He gave it to you. He He gave you the land, but you took on the idols. So God's saying, let go of the idols and don't bring them with you. If you do enter a new land, a land of no lack, a place of no lack, a place of greatness, 
that God has given to you, don't forget who's the one who gave it to you is what it is. Don't forget who is the one who gave it to you. So, Father God, we ask that, Lord Jesus, any idol that we've put before you, that you uproot and take away, Lord, every spirit of distraction, we bind and rebuke. And any God that we have put up against you, Lord Jesus, we bind and rebuke and we ask that you tear and uproot them now. And we ask that, Lord Jesus, you forgive us for not putting you first. God, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for where you're taking us. And we pray that we keep you first in Black Jesus' Mom. holy name. Amen. You got an owie? You want to say goodbye? Goodbye, everyone. You want to say God bless you? God bless you. <laughs>